Hi everyone and welcome back. We have received a lot of questions lately about managing VGA devices with TFTP servers. Specifically, people want to know how to backup their configuration and upgrade firmware using TFTP. In this short video, we will cover both of these processes. First, let's confirm that our TFTP server is working properly. All right. Let's start by launching our TFTP server software. Now, I'll transfer a file from my computer to the server to verify functionality. This is the file that I'll transfer. We can see it to text. Before doing the transfer, let's check my IP. 192.168.1.100 Transfer successful. The file is here. So, our TFTP server is functioning as expected. Now that we have confirmed the TFTP server is working, let's move on to backing up the router configuration. Today, we will demonstrate how to create a new DHCP pool for guest users. Alright, let's connect to the router using PuTTY. Now we will using the following commands to configure the new DHCP pool. Sorry. Network will be 192.168.33.0. Mask will be 255.255.255.0. Default router 192.168.33.1. DNS will be 8.8.8 .8 and the least time will be 0 days, 8 hours, 0 minutes. Exit. Now show IP DHCV on. Now where is our RG? Also, we can verify this configuration by logging to the router itself 192.168.1.1. Okay, we will go to network, DHCP, and here we can find Roger. This is 192.168.33.1, tell 254, the gateway is 33.1, 8 hours, DNS. Great, we have created the new DHCP pool and saved the configuration. Now, let's back it up. First, let's check if the configuration file exists. Through this command, we can find that the config.txt listed here. Now, we will use this command to backup the configuration to the TFTB server. Copy, slash, colon, config.txt, TFTB server, colon, double slash, 192.168.1.100, slash config.txt copy success we can verify the backup status by checking the tftp server software here we can even open the downloaded file to confirm the of the new dhcp pool configuration
192.168.33.0 IBDHS Bibor Roger Least time 8 hours This is the network DNS server and the default router Now that the backup is complete Let's proceed with the firmware upgrade First, make sure the firmware file, usually a pen file is already uploaded to the TFTP server. This one, dot pen. Now in Batty, we will use the following command to initiate the upgrade. Upgrade. Download. TFTP. Colon double slash 192.168.1.100 slash rgos.pen The system will prompt you to confirm the upgrade. Press Y to proceed. The upgrade process might take a few minutes. Please, don't interrupt it by restarting the router. Once the upgrade is complete, your Rage device will have the latest firmware. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And for more information on Rage Gateways and firmware updates, visit the official website. Thank you.